chosen one. <laughs> they want to become chosen like you so bad. It's it's ridiculous. Okay, it's it's ridiculous how many people want to be chosen just like the chosen one, but they can't do it no matter how hard they try. See, man, people, people, I'm telling you, once they get around you, they figure out they can't be like you. They, they just they just can't do it the way you do it. They can't be nice like you. You know, some people can try so hard to be positive and to be nice and to be cool and to be charming without talking like you. But they just can't do it. No matter how hard they try it, they can't do it. And see, that's what's frustrating them. That's what get people to like turn their back on you. That's what make people don't even like you for no reason. It's because they trying to level up to the same level that you on, being that you are chosen, not realizing that you got this from the most high. Okay? You can't help it the way that you are. You can't help it that you are a spiritual person and you worked on yourself and you developed yourself. <laughs> you can't help it that you don't react to negativity and bullshit like they do. You can't help it. But see, that's the thing they don't know. You know what I mean? Chosen one, you're going you gonna to realize it's going to be a lot of people that come into your life for the simple fact that they, they know it's something mysterious about you, but they just can't put their finger on what it is. You know, and that's what makes you curious. That's what makes you so mysterious, you know, when it comes down to people that want to be your friend and people that want to get close to you and people that want to get to know you. You are a mysterious person. You know what I mean? And so what that does is, it, it makes people curious, all right? And it's actually attractive to them that you are so mysterious and you are so curious, you know? And at the same time, you are very sophisticated, you know? Even though they, they might not even understand, they might not even understand what you stand for and what you all about. And, you know, they don't understand your, your level of discernment and how you can see through their bullshit. You can see through their fakeness. They might not... They might understand it, but then again, they really don't understand it. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, it's like, you know, that people know you can see through them, but it's like, they still come around you anyway. You know, you say, you say, why is that? Why did this person, why is this person playing games with me coming in and out my life? It's because they know that you know who they truly are. You know, they're the Decepticon, but see some people fighting, they fighting demons on the inside that won't allow that person to be around you so then they run away and then they come back again and then they they come they they start talking to you on your dm another day like hey hey how you doing how you doing i was just thinking about you today and then they run away again and then they they try to post some pictures or they try to post a story or something they try to make you see all this shit is projected towards you they trying to make you jealous they trying to make you see that they look real beautiful and stuff like that. When they know they really just trying to be like the chosen one. They trying so hard. But see, they trying it backwards. They doing it all backwards. They working from the outside in. You know what I'm saying? It's like they putting on the makeup and they putting on the front and the image trying to look good and for, makes people think that they, they got the right mindset, trying to make people think that they really, really positive and they really a nice and genuine person. When really on the inside, they toxic, toxic. And they wonder why nobody really liked them. That's the thing about the Decepticon. They, they, they got, they got problems within themselves and see, they, see the thing is chosen one. They always want to make it seem like you the problem. They always want to make you see. And so that they, they'll throw reverse, they'll throw reverse psychology on you. Oh, you jealous of me. Why are you jealous? Why I gotta be jealous of you? Who are you? Nobody even knows you. Who you don't even, I don't even remember your name. What's your name? You know what I mean? But see, this is how this is how they feel about you. See, one thing about one thing about Decepticon folks and fake people, they be telling on themselves, and you don't. They don't even know that they telling on themselves right to you, and you be like, "What they do that at? You just told me you lied to me, and now you gonna come and act like you didn't lie to me? Where did they do that at? You know what I mean? And so you gonna have many encounters, many encounters on your journey where you gonna just you gonna run into you gonna run into people. Time after time after time again, and you're gonna see that they change when they get around you. 
It's like they go from being this quiet person, this nobody who don't know shit, who ain't got nothing going on for themselves. And now all of a sudden when they get you, they're a power ranger. Like all of a sudden they shooting damn cannonballs. You wasn't like that before I met you, Rico. Rico, you, you were not like that before I met you. Now all of a sudden you got super battles? Where they do that at? But that's see, that's because that's because they getting around your energy. Okay? They actually know what it feels like to be special. You know what I mean? They know what it feels like to be around somebody that's that's truthful. They don't gotta worry about you lying to them. They don't gotta worry about you cheating on them. You know what I mean? They don't gotta worry about you doing something behind their back because they know deep down inside their heart that you a good person. They know deep down inside, inside, inside their heart that you the most friendliest person that they ever came across. They know deep down inside their heart that you the most attractive guy that she ever been around. Attractive on a whole nother level. Attractive on an emotional level. Attractive on a physical level. Attractive <laughs> on the bedroom level. If you really want to go there. Oh, I ain't, I ain't no sugarcoat shit. Huh? Attracted on an intellectual level. And see, she ain't never been around nobody that actually respects her. She ain't, bruh. She, bruh, she ain't never been around nobody that actually respects her. No, she ain't. She ain't never been around no, or nobody that, that put her shoes on her feet for her and tie her shoe strings. She ain't never had nobody that do that to her. So when you tie her shoe strings up, when you tie her shoe strings up, she thinks she can run fast. To the damn hill. As soon as you make one little thing, one little thing go wrong. Soon, see, she ain't never had nobody tie her shoes up before. Ever since she was a kid. And then when you can find and then when she finally gets somebody to do it in her adult years, she finally gets somebody to tie her shoes up in her adult years. Oh my God. Oh my God. You make one little false move wrong dog. She gonna run to the hills with them tied shoe strings, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Act like she never ever knew you before. Oh, because she got her shoe strings tied up tight. That's the only reason why. I'm just telling y'all. I'm just letting y'all know the truth, man. Chosen ones. You're going to start getting around people that's going to start being fake around you. And you're going to be able to see through this shit like just, just like a transparency sheet on an overhead projector. You're just going to be like sitting back just looking like, damn, this person came off so real. They came off like they was the best thing smoking. Now they like burnt barbecue chicken. Now they like burnt barbecue chicken. They don't burnt themselves. You know why? Because I'm going to tell you, folks, just like I told my client on the phone this morning, shouts out to my homeboy Richard out there in uh, Tampa, Florida, booked a session with Big Bro. You ain't booked a session with me. You slipping. Shouts out to my, my lady that's about to get on the phone with me after this video. Um, I don't know where you from, but shouts out to you. You're going to see this video too. But anyway, if you ain't got no phone session with Big Bro, you slipping. What they do that at? They be watching, they be watching me, and don't even want to talk to me personally. Yeah, I'm just saying the kind of thing. I won't even call me or nothing. I'm big bro, though. I ain't even talking to my sister. I ain't even talking to my brother. I ain't even talking to him. No, but I'm, I'm big bro. How about your brother? Anyway, I ain't gonna talk about that. I'll, take, I'll say that to next time. Listen, man. Listen. One thing I'm about to tell y'all, chosen ones, one thing I'm about to tell y'all is that, man, it's going to be a lot of fakery. You're going to see a lot of people that cannot hide their true colors. They cannot hide their true colors around you because once they finally get around a real one, once they finally get around somebody that's unique and transparent as you, they're going to have to face the truth, meaning they're going to have to be open. And that might involve them having to show you who they are. Bullshit. Okay? And that's how you know whether or not to keep a friend in your life or not because they expose to you their true colors. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why I'm telling y'all, one thing y'all got to understand about karma, folks, people might not think that they get, people might think that they getting away with something in the moment, but I'm telling you, folks, if you serve God, you don't even got to react to people that do negative shit to you. You don't even have to, you don't even have to entertain it. You don't even have to even talk to them no more. You don't have to do nothing. I'm telling y'all folks, I done seen it. I'm 33 years old. Okay. I done seen it happen time after time after time again, man. Karma, that thing called karma 
always serves its purpose at the end of the day. People think they're getting away with doing shit to you in a moment. I'm telling you, folks, God is still on the throne, and a lot of people forget that. A lot of people forget that shit. They forget that God is still on the throne and controlling everything in this whole world. He does control your eyes, your lungs, and your heartbeat. God does that. He puts the hands in your head and he makes them fall out too. God does that. And it's funny how so many people live their life doing people wrong, being conniving, cheating, stealing, Reacting negative to people that did something negative to them, and next thing you know, they in prison all their life because of one because they got in their feelings for one night. Where they do that at? Telling y'all folks, it's Decepticons all around, Decepticons all around, and they cannot get enough of the chosen one. They're always gonna be in your business, they're always gonna be snooping in your information, they're always gonna be going through your clothes, smelling your clothes. <laughs> Ladies, they're going to be smelling your clothes and stuff when you ain't even around. I'm going to fall out. I'm going to be smelling. The... What you doing in there? I was about to put the clothes in the washing machine. Huh? Yo, that's what Big Bro say. Huh? <laughs> Chosen ones. It's your big brother, Tran G, man. Listen, don't act like I didn't tell you this. This stuff that you already know. I'm your big brother, Trey and Jesus, man. Listen, book a session with me today, man. I want to talk to some of y'all. I want to get to know y'all personally on a personal level, okay? Um, also, folks, yeah, somebody been like, well, a lot of y'all been like, man, Trey, when you going to put some more hits out? I got some hits, though. I got plenty of them. Plenty of them. But I don't even be really worried about stuff like that, though. You know what I'm saying? But I am. I am just for y'all because y'all been nice, all right? I'm going to release. I mean, Sean Sider. I do, I do too. I'm going to release two more songs for y'all. I'm going to do one after this video for y'all later on today. So if you want to hear my next new song, uh, just just stay tuned. Just stay tuned. You're going to see it flash across your notification feed. And I'm probably going to do another one maybe tomorrow or something like that. just depends on how I feel. If you comment below, then I might just make a post of another song after the one today. It's your big bro, Tran Jeans, man. Stay tuned, folks. I still want to talk to y'all about crypto. Um, stay tuned into the channel. I'm still doing my research. I'm still studying different coins and different NFTs that you should invest into. So stay tuned. I hope you downloaded the crypto.com app, which is in the bottom of the comment section. I hope you downloaded the Discord app, which is down in the bottom of the comment section. Okay. And I hope that you downloaded the, the uh, what is it? The Meta app, the Meta Crypto app. That is also down in the comment section. You'll see all this stuff in the comment section below. I need you to download those apps, folks, if you're trying to get rich with us in 2022 through this crypto stuff. Trust me, folks, this is the new wave. A lot of people don't know this. And don't tell everybody that, that did you wrong that don't know about this shit. Let they ass suffer and be broke while we be rich. Don't tell everybody about this and go run your mouth. Just keep this on the channel, folks. This is just for us and star season chosen ones only. All right, tired of giving people my damn blessings. They ain't giving me nothing back. How about you, huh? So make sure you download all them apps. It's going to be in the comment section, folks. Um, yeah, everything is in the comment section at the top. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking that face icon. Make sure you check out some of these other videos right here in the meantime. I got to go. I'll see y'all in my next video, folks. Stay tuned for the song. Peace.